What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Junior. All right, guys, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate all the love and support you guys show the channel. Remember, when I continue supporting the channel, all you got to do is like all my videos, share all my videos, comment all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified about great video tips like this or anytime I go live. And trust me, guys, you never, ever want to miss a thing. All right, guys, so as you can read from the title of the video, I'm going to show you how to do green screen effects without using a green screen physically. You heard that correctly, guys. Still do the green screen effects while having to buy a green screen. You guys know when I do my videos, I've always used a green screen just because it helps me do it in the room I'm in. As you see, this is my bedroom. I have my setup in my bedroom. This is my office, both for sleeping and working. <laughs> so, so when I use green screen a lot also because it makes it easier to navigate through the video when I'm showing you stuff it's, It just makes it easier in my opinion. And that's just me You guys might agree you guys might not agree There's plenty of people that are out there that do videos that don't use green screen for many things But this really works really well as well for gaming because when you do gaming You don't want a big block on your screen blocking most of the thing You just want to yourself. That's it to be shown on the screen you know, and anything else you don't care for. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. But full disclaimer, you have to be on an NVIDIA graphics card to be able to use this. Very simple, all you have to do is download all software and I'm gonna show you how to install it, how to get it, and how it works. All right, so let's go and shrink myself down and take you to the website real quick. All right, guys, so this is the website. This is the NVIDIA website. So when you come here, all you got to do is come right here. I'll leave a link to this direct page right here so you don't have to go looking for stuff or anything. And the software you're going to be downloading is the NVIDIA broadcast app. This is all you need, and you'll be set. As you see right now, I don't have a green screen. Everything is showing in the background. I got my pictures on the wall over there. And you can see part of my bed. <laughs> but you see everything here no issues right so i have no green screen like i said all right so basically all you're gonna do hit download and download the software so once you download it you're gonna open it up all right and what it looks like it's gonna be this this software right here once it opens up here to make, make you can see it better so this is the nvidia broadcast software you can google search it you don't have to use my link you can just go google search it put an nvidia broadcast and it'll pop up it'll be the first link on on the search bar so right now since i'm using my camera on here it's not going to show on here all right so i'm going to describe it a little bit better here for you here you got the option for micros um, microphones which is a good thing if you want to use this if you want to use this i'm just going to briefly talk about it because i'm not going to do a, a separate video on this Okay, so a lot of gamers, they like to use the keyboard for PC gaming. You know, if you're a PC gamer, your keyboard. And what's the most common keyboard people use? Not a common brand type of keyboard. Are mechanical keyboards. A bunch of my P, um, YouTube friends, they use mechanical keyboards. Uh, one of my good friend, Penn, he, when he's typing or playing games, you can hear the mechanical key, keys when he's using the, the keyboard. You can hear it. It's... It, it can get annoying to some people, but some people don't mind because I'm used to it. I don't really care. Uh, it just shows you how fast somebody's typing. This this software also gets that removed. So if you have fans in the background, you have people in the other room making noise or anything like that, you just go here, pick your microphone, go here and choose noise removal and, and, and enable that. I don't use this feature because it doesn't really need for me to use it, so it's okay. But there you go. You could choose the strength on it is and everything. And you could just go ahead and test it out while doing you. If you want to record yourself and see how it sounds, just do it here, record it, and then play it back and see how it sounds. So it gives you that option for this. That's a very good option for a lot of people. Pan, you can use this for yourself if you want to. Because <laughs> I knew I do know you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Alright, so th that's not the problem we want here today. Not the option. The thing you want to do is go to camera. I'm gonna go to camera. It might show my camera here. So no, see, see, the source camera is busy. It's not showing there because I'm using my camera on my recording software. So, before I get into this, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. And I'm going to have everything set up ready for you guys to see it. All right? So, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, we're back here. As you see, I have broadcast open. 
and you see my face on broadcast so this is very simple to use you saw before it said no sources but i when you're, you're gonna use this surf, uh, software you have to open this up first before you open up any other software you use to record because if it reads if it, your camera's read somewhere else it's not gonna work properly here just like with any software if you go any software you open it up there first and then you try to open it up somewhere else it's not gonna show on the second one whatever source it uses first that's the source it's gonna be playing on so just a quick tip there so make sure you open this, this up first before you open up anything else all right so once you're here you see yourself here you're gonna you have these options here you got camera sources you go ahead and pick your camera as you see i got my logitech installed right there so that's the one i'm gonna pick and then, and if you have multiple cameras you could use it to whatever it's built in here you can see a list of camera options here just go ahead and use that that's fine then we have here is you're gonna pick your resolution for 1080p it only gives you up to 30 frames per second that's the maximum that it gives you or well, i think that might be just because of my camera i don't know i'm not too sure can't remember how fast my camera is. Uh, but anyways, you got the option there. And then you got all these other options if you want to check them out. You got 2080 by 960 for 15 frames a second. 720p at 30 frames per second. Uh, 960 by 720 at 30 frames. 60, 40, 80 at 30. Same one at 60. And then you got 640 by 360 for 30 frames and then also 60 frames for the same one. So you go ahead and pick the one you want to work best for you. I'm going to go with the highest one, 1920 by 30 frames per second. And it'll, it'll buffer around when it does that. It'll change the resolution on here. And then on the effects, you have four options. You got auto frame. Don't, don't really know. How, oh, yeah. Auto frame actually zooms in you. So it only tries to take your head as much as possible. If I go auto frame, you're going to see it. it's going to zoom in as much as I, I got to turn on the effect. You see how close it got me into it? So that's what auto frame is. I'm going to turn that effect. I'm going to leave that on there. Now, the other effect we have is black background blur. So if you don't mind your background, you just want a little bit of blur. You can do it from here and you can change the effect on here. It goes stronger so if you go higher you see the backgrounds really really blurred out as much as possible but of course if you go less it's really nothing there to be blurred out so if you want to just blur it out just keep your background as this this is a great feel. i see a lot of people do the blur background and mostly they do this on their dslr because it's easier to do it on that but you got the option here if you want to do it on here for that all right and then the other background you have is background replacement now you want to go ahead and put a replacement. You pick that one and you pick a photo you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and pick one now so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm going to pick my, when I talk to you guys on live stream, I'm going to pick that screen, which I think it's on, it's on right here, right? Uh, I just got to find it. I just can't remember where it should be in here. Let me see. Uh, can't remember where I put the stuff sometimes. Uh, okay, it's right here. So see, it replaced my background with that. So you don't have to use a green screen for that. You can just do this and you'll be set. Now, you already have a background on your software for your whatever, whatever however you stream, however you record. You don't want to use this replacement. This is just one option, a replacement. You can do this and, and you're fine. Now, you want the green screen. You want to go to this effect again and change to background removal. I go here, you see everything's black because now my whole back is, is um, green screen. It's transparent. So whatever I put in the back of me, that's what's going to show in there. So as you see, the camera keeps going in and out because the software tries to recognize a face feature and whatever is connected to it. So if I go over the camera, if I move my head over to the camera, you're gonna see the camera is gonna show more, watch. See, shows perfect, no issues. I mean, microphone, why did I say camera? I meant microphone, sorry about that guys. But if I move over the microphone, you see it's perfectly, but if I move away, it's gonna show. Now, another thing is, I. Checked, I did this yesterday. I was recording a bit. I was doing a live gaming last night at, on Twitch. And then my wife was over here behind me. And she's like, oh, babe, I got to get by. Can you move? I'm like, I don't have a green screen. So try to stay as back as possible and move over. 
She goes, it's going to see me. It didn't catch her whole body, but it caught a little bit of her face. So it, it does detect faces, guys. So this could be a problem if you have a lot of movement going on in the background. You might want to just stick with the green screen. But there's times that people don't want to use a green don't want to use a green screen because they don't have the budget for it or they don't like it. it takes up too much space that was my issue that's why i use a pop-up one for this room until i get my office again and then i could get everything all sorted out properly but you see the option now how does this work on a recording software i'm gonna show you right right now so i'm gonna move this one over here i'm gonna move it to the to the right as much as possible and i'm gonna go ahead and open up streamlabs obs if i can find it I, I had it open right here all right so here we go i'm gonna shrink this down so you guys can see it. it's not gonna be practical for me but for you i want to make sure you guys are able to see this all right so i'm gonna use this screen right here as an example this is the perfect example right now it's trying to read my camera my logitech it's not going to read it. Reason why it's not going to read it because it's being used right here. That's the reason why. So when you want to add the camera on here to, to show it on here, you want to go to your sources or whatever you add your camera on. And this works for Streamlabs or any other devices, software, or websites you use to record your camera, use your camera. And it works on everything. It can even use on chat relay if you want to use it on there um omigo it works on all that platform so this is a very good software it works good so whatever you choose the screen or wherever you want to put it and then you want to add a source for my case i'm going to use video capture because that's how the cameras are the source for the cameras are so i'm going to do video capture right here okay so it says built-in cameras logitech capture cards etc you whatever hit that source and here it's going to ask you to cre um, create one. So I'm going to go ahead and put add new source here. I'm going to put um, NVIDIA. Oh. Broadcast. I'm just going to name it that. I don't know. I don't know. what You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to make it easy for myself to know. All right. So I add the source. Now, see, it detected one other video capture instead of the one i'm using right now all right so you're gonna go to devices and you're gonna choose a device you see my camera listed there if i click on that it's not gonna show anything because it's being used over here all right so i'm gonna go ahead and pick it's gonna be called camera nvidia broadcast see it right there you want to choose that once you choose that look at that i'm right here this picture is exactly like the one over here hit done and then you adjust it the way you want. As you can see, the whole background is there. I don't need it. Now, if I want to do the blur background, it's going to show my original background with being blurred. Boom. See? But we're going to change it to background removal. So this is a green, green screen effect. Guys, look at that. I, I'm not using a green screen. And you see my whole background there. Now, you're going to sit here and adjust it for whatever you want to do it. You can adjust it. I'm just going to adjust it to that little screen right there what I use it for. There. I'm just leave it right there. And boom. Now, I'm here. I can be talking. Yes. The only thing about it is stuff like this. You see my microphone here. You kind of see it blurring in and out at times. That's the only downside. That's the plus side of having a green screen because anything in front of the green screen will be displayed. Like, for instance, my microphone will be displayed if I had a green screen instead of this. But hey, as a right, some people don't want to buy a green screen or can't afford one. Or it takes up too much space. Because if you get the cheap um, green screens, the two poles on each side goes up. And it takes up a lot of space and it takes time to, to set out. So if you just want to do a quick video or go live for a little bit and not having a green screen in the background, this is a great software to have. As you see, it works awesome. And you can do it many things. You can use this in Streamlabs. Like I said, all you have to do is pick the source as camera and parentheses NVIDIA broadcast. And that's it. That's simple, guys. So now you've seen two of me, one on my display screen and one on my preview screen. It's that simple. All right. So hopefully this was a great tutorial on how to use green screen effects without having to own a green screen for people that are on a budget and want to stream.
this is a perfect software to use guys again i will leave a link to the website down below if you want to get it but you can always just google search it by typing it in video broadcast and i'll bring the first link up all right all right guys so if you enjoyed this video and everything i had to show you today go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up show me all the love and support that you guys should love to show the channel also don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring and we want to make sure everyone's aware of this great little trick on using green screen while having to have a physical green screen available simple as that and if you have any questions comments or concerns put them in the comment box down below i'll get to you as soon as i can when i can as fast as i can and if you still haven't done so to the end of this video guys make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified about every time i drop new videos like this one or when i go live and trust me guys you never want to miss a thing until next time guys this is junior signing out peace